Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a floss tube video for you. And if you're new, floss tube is, well, it's basically cross stitchers. However, I utilize that little hashtag for all my crafty videos where I show you what I've been working on uh, recently in the crafting world. Now, I don't have a whole lot to show you because I have a fully finished and another finish. Um, and then some other bits and bobs to go over. We have coffee with a little peppermint schnapps in it. Oh, it's so good. It's Starbucks peppermint mocha. And then I just put a little, not that much at the bottom, a peppermint schnapps. Oh, perfect. Mm. And I have my house decorated for Christmas. And I have a fire. Oh, and a dog bowl. I got the fire going. Here's my coffee table. So let's get going. First and foremost, I have a fully finished object. What is that you ask? That means that I finished the craft and it's completely finished in its permanent final step. So fully finished. And I hope you don't see a glare. This is a cross stitch I did. It's I Am No Bird uh, by Jacob of Modern Folk Embroidery. It is stitched on the fabric is Peanut Brittle by Leo and Roxy Floss Co. or Roxy Floss Co. now. And the floss is also Roxy Floss Co. in the color Inappropriate. Sorry for the glare. And I got this frame. So it's stitched on a 32 count. I believe, yes, I think it's a 32 count. So the finished stitch is 12 inches by 12 inches. So I bought a 14 inch by 14 inch frame and I ordered it online and the frame is by um, Arts, Art for Frames or Frame for Arts. I'll try to link them below, but you can order custom sized framing. And so I ordered this and I, Stitched, I laced this cross stitch on some acid free uh, mat board and I framed it myself. Even put the little dust cover on the back and a little note that says, I am no bird by Modern Folk Embroidery. I started this on July 15th of 2022 and I finished it on November 11th of 2022. And I love it. There's a few little bloopers in there, but I don't care. I love it. So that is our fully finish. We need a thumbnail. So that is gonna be, that is complete. And my other finished project that I did, I have to dig it out here, is called Let It Snow. I can't show you the chart because it's just the pattern. Let It Snow by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Um, put something behind it because you can see through. This was a kit that I purchased in London and I started it on like October 14th and I finished it the other day. So it was a quick stitch. The only changes I made because the kit came with this Ada cloth and all this floss, but if you see this color, which looks silver in person, it's actually glitter. It's a toile. So I did that and then this I did with the white and I just did a little gold as well over it. I wish you could see the sparkle, but I thought it was perfect. So the snowflakes and the glass and all that is done with sparkly at all. And then his belly is done in white. The only change also that I made, the other, the other change that I made is his bow tie is some red Krynik. So I just wanted a little sparkle in this. I need to finish it, meaning put it on a board and either put it in a frame or hang it on in some way or shape. I don't haven't decided yet. So nothing is happening to it, but that is done. And that's exciting. I started it with Caroline and Carrie. Caroline is the owner of Everto, my friend Caroline and my friend Carrie. She is the owner of Roxy Flosco. And you know, I love their stuff because I talk about it all the time. Now, in the vein of keeping with cross stitch for now, I also got my temperature chart current. This is November 24th right here. 
So all I need to do now is finish this border. So December goes here. And then I am, oh, where's my needle? Then I am, I will be done and I will have finished this. I started it on January 1st of 22 and I will have finished it. And each book represents a different day of every month. And each day, the color of the book represents the temperature of that day. So like this pinks and stuff up here, 70s and 80s. Down here, we're getting colder. And then there's some little doodahs. I need to do the doodah for December. So I'm pretty excited that I started this and I'm going to complete it. So we'll talk about plans in a minute. But this is exciting. So I have that and I don't remember who it's by Dr. Christie somebody. Sorry. I'll try to link it below, but I got it on Etsy and it comes the chart comes with the numbers. So even if you wanted to buy it and you could do it for 2023 cuz you put the date up here. Right here is your date. Um it comes with your whole set of numbers, so you can change that to a three and start it in January. I love these. There's many, many, many different adaptations of a temperature chart, but I liked this one because I love books, and I want to hang this in my office. So this will be worked on, and I'll we'll get back to that in a second. And that is pretty much it of things that I worked on because I really wanted to finish the I am no bird because for a special reason and so I really was mono monogamous on that until it was finished and then I wanted to finish this so I worked on I worked on this to finish that because I would like to hang it up then we can talk about plans and then we'll get into new acquisitions because they kind of are all together so I joined a club. Part of my plans, we'll start there. It's, I don't know where to begin, but part of my plans is for, I don't know where my uh, card is for this, but part of my plans for 2023 is instead of doing a temperature chart, next year I want to stitch a Christmas ornament every month. So I will have 12 Christmas ornaments, um, which I think is very doable. Maybe we'll see, but um, I needed some patterns because I don't have any like ornament patterns. So when I was watching Cizuk Stitch, and I will try to link her. Hi, Dubs. I will try to link her. There's Wellington below. Um, he's getting in his bed. He loves his bed. It's a it's like a bunk bed over there. There's a basket on top. Oh no. Oh, he turned around. He's not getting in his bed. Um. She was talking about this, and of course, I had to get on the bandwagon. So this is um, the name of the, what is it called? Woodland Christmas by Crazy, Crazy Annie's. So Crazy Annie's is the store, um, and you have to join the Facebook group. And it started in November, but I think you can pay to catch up. But it's a 12-month pattern by Tiny Modernist. So every month she sends this pattern. Um, the first month came with this bag and I purchased the stitch. Um, well, I purchased this to go with it, which is either from Floss Bling or it's a magnet as well on the back. And the name of the club is yeah, Woodland Christmas by Crazy Annie's. If you just Google that... Now, um, you can buy the floss kit, floss for it, but I have so much Broxy floss that I want to use, so I decided to do my own conversion. So I just went through and I found some colors that I liked that I thought were similar, and I grabbed them. This is a week's dye works, but the rest of these are Roxy, uh, Roxy floss. And if you want to know the colors, let me know and I can tell you, but... I just, this is just some leftover. I needed a little bit of brown. But, so here's my floss. I made this floss ring. Let me know if you'd like a giveaway because I can put some of these up for giveaway. I just burned it on my wood burner. But it's my Grinch. And then I have another one that's, because I don't know how many colors in this and the series. I have another one I made that says, um, I'm a nightmare before coffee. 
<laughs> and then I put my bling on it. And then I just have what's left of my etoile, which is DMC and it's a glitter. And it's easier to work with than like a Krynik. So I just have this behind because I figured there will come a time where I might want some bling. And I've finished using it. So this is how I keep my floss um, organized. Hi. My floss organized when I am doing a project. So this will just stay on here. Um, I'm a, I, I guess I'm making a lot of assumptions, but I assume that the patterns will all be in a similar family. So this is the first one, and it's a 12-part series. It's This is $11 a month. I think it's $13 the first time around because they ship you this bag with some, uh, with your, and whatever you order, but that's the pattern. So I picked some very similar colors, but I, like I said, um, I wasn't going to buy fancy floss and I wanted to use my Roxy Flosco. So I just found some to match and I have this fabric, which is mystery fabric. It's a 36 count. I think I'm pretty sure it's a 36 count. I got it on the free table in London. So I'm using that and this is where I'm at. So I've done the border and I'm starting on a tree and it's only, you know, they're that big. So this is a very big piece of fabric, but I wasn't sure how much I was going to need. So I started that and I'm obsessed. I know this is sangria and I'm not sure. I can't remember what this color is. I guess I could tell you. I just don't have my, my book with me that I write everything down in. But I, I'll just tell you what I picked. We have time. The weeks, which I, I have a little bit of an issue with them just because of some of their names of their color choice. But it's chestnut. And then um, this green here is... I have to remember which the green is which. Okay. This green here is green thumb. It's definitely looking more lime with lighting, but it's not. This green is pinery and it's a very pine color. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? This is oink and it's just a pink. This is sangria, which is almost like a dark raspberry. It's so pretty. And the white is frosting. So these are just the colors that I chose because I had them, like I said. So every month, my goal is to get this ornament stitched, one ornament stitched a month. And by the end of the year, minimally, I'll have 12 ornaments. This is a needle minder that I bought with the, if you notice, it matches. I bought this in London, but it's gonna be my, my little Christmas minder to go with when I'm stitching my ornaments. So what I might do is just put, leave them all with enough space to cut between and just leave them all in one piece of fabric and then cut them at one time. This that I'm using is an eight inch by eight inch Q-snap. And these are smart, cool magnets. They're technically for um, electronics, but they work fantastic for cross stitch. And um, they are in my Amazon store, which is also linked below. I am an affiliate, so I get a little bit of a kickback, but anything that I can link to Amazon just makes life easier. So those are in there. I think they're for US customers. I think it's like $18 and you get 25 of these and they work great. They have a very strong magnet. I mean, they're holding a lot of fabric, but it keeps everything tidy. So that is part of what I, my plans for next year is doing the ornaments a month. I'm just tidying up here. I gotta, I'm trying to keep everything organized. I think Santa might be bringing me a, like a um, cart for in here to keep all my cross stitch stuff on because my living room becomes unruly with all this stuff. Um, also, we'll be moving this to a different bag here in a minute. I will show you. Now, the other thing that I got to go with this from Lindy Stitches, I ordered this little, these are her, um, I can, like her little postcard patterns. There's a name for them. I don't remember, but they're her little like postcard patterns, but it's just a little mouse. And I thought that would make a sweet ornament. So I ordered that. I think it was like two or $3 on her website. So I got that to do ornaments. 
she sent me love and pickles as a freebie uh, 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 it's a porcupine so i could maybe make an ornament out of that depending on the size floss that i use and then i ordered this pattern i don't think i got this from lindy stitches but i might have but this is a merry mini surprise and it's 12 santas so i definitely want to do a couple santas this year for my tree and i ordered i think i got this from one two three stitch if i'm remembering properly but it's just little santas look at him he's ice skating i love them so i grabbed those to do ornaments with as well and then i picked up and i need to go tomorrow and get the winter version of this but this is punch needle and primitive stitch magazine so you get all kinds of patterns in here now this is the fall uh, the fall book so i don't i don't think there's any christmas patterns in here but in my world anything with a black cat is year round hence the black cat well, we don't see him. He's in the shade over here. And I feel like there was a couple patterns that had some black cats. Anyway, I will do these for fall. I don't, I love this magazine much. I like it better than just cross stitch, to be honest. Um, but right, neither here nor there. So these are some of the patterns that you get. Look at that one for fall. I love it. So um, these come out quarterly or seasonally and you get 26 projects and it's like $10. I think the Christmas one is a little more. I'll let you know when I go buy it. But I got this. That's another new purchase for next year's stitching. And then I picked up this pattern from Lindy Stitches. And this is Christmas Delivery from Cottage Garden. Look at the Santa. And I have some blue fabric that this will be perfect on, like some nighttime fabric. And I probably will add, like in the gold, I'll probably add some gold to toile. I just love a good sparkle with Christmas. This is a, on 32 count, it will be 11 and a half inches by seven, or 11 and 5 eighths by 7 and 7 eighths. I, but I think the fabric I bought is a 36 count, so it'll be 10 inches by 7, I think. So I have that. It'll get done. I don't know if it'll get done this year or not. Um, I also ordered. Hold on. I got more stuff here. I got more stuff. Oh, that bad. Um, from Everto and Caroline. Now she also, or I think originally did project bags. Um, both knitting and cross stitch bags. And now they've expanded. But look at this bag. This is the Christmas kit, and I'm pretty sure it's still out there. I don't have the pattern that came with it. It's from um, Parkhoff or Bart. I got to find that. I printed it. I think it's in my work bag. But for now, I can show you this. And look at this fabric. Isn't it everything? So this is going to hold all my Christmas stitching for next year. The inside is, you know, just this kind of khaki color and then it comes with a little notions pouch oh my god guys these are everything and the inside is a creamy muslin i think it's a different yeah it's a little lighter but that holds any of your notions i usually put my floss in these little bags but i love them so i got this came as part of the kit and then the pattern which i printed it all also came with fabric look at this color this is 36 count Billie Jean. I think it was named after Billie Jean King, but come on, it's named after Michael Jackson. Let's be truthful here. So it's just a light, light, it's more blue in person than the gray it's showing on, on camera. Let me see. It's a bluish gray, but it's very nice and it's a lovely fabric. It has a nice hand feel to it. Um, I'll need to press it when I get ready to start but I'm working on this in December and look at this floss this floss is everything look at these colors that are going to be in that project and the project's pretty small so I'll have a lots of this floss left to do other projects with um, this is a floss bling that Carrie made and gave me in London the dyer of Leo and Roxy isn't that fabulous? Um, so I bought the whole kit, 
So it did come with the floss, the fabric, and the PDF of, that's why I don't have it down here, it's upstairs. Um, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The one color I'm nervous about is this powder up, but I think it'll be okay. I think you'll be able to see it. Um, so that is for a Christmas stitch. So this I'm working on in December. So that's, we're kind of getting into plans. December, I want to finish this ornament and maybe start a second because this is technically November. So I want to finish this in a second ornament. I want to do this project, which is not, it's not huge. It's, there's a lot of negative space. So I want to get this done, right? Then I have my advent calendar, which I can't show you because I haven't opened it yet. But in December, and then I'm going to put all of my Christmas stuff in this bag for the year of 2023. In December, on the 1st, or starting on the 1st, I will be putting up a video every single day. And most of it will be centered around crafting, cross-stitching, and opening advent calendars. So I have a coffee advent calendar that I got that's 25 pots so every day is a whole pot of a different flavor coffee so we'll open that together i have an advent calendar that sarah made for me my niece so we'll put, do that i have my cross stitching advent calendar and pointing because it's under the tree over here but i can't open it yet and then the cats have an advent calendar treats so we'll be opening all that together that is my plans for December and because the advent calendar from Evertote that I bought back in April, but it was delivered, it is a cross stitch every day, uh, stitch along. So I want to work on that. So I've got quite a bit for a busy month. Um, ideally I will, I will keep up at least with the advent calendar the other stuff is fine and since this is not technically for my 20 till 2023 plans to get 12 ornaments i'm just getting a head start is what's happening so it's fine and then the other project is pretty small so i should get that done then the last cross stitching thing i ordered again from evertote but the designer is ellen reed of maximum cross stitch or Maximum Cross Stitch Power Hour, and her channel is Maximum Cross Stitch. Our designs go to 11, so some of them will have some adult themes, I'm assuming. But this is her very first pattern, which I got. And it is called, There Is Always Room. Now I can tell you one thing I'm changing already. You see how there's a cat and a dog? Yeah, mine's gonna get two cats. And then I wanna put my initials in here. And it will say 2023 because, because this is my January 1st start and we're having a stitch along. So if you belong to Caroline's Facebook group, um, off the grid Facebook group, we're stitching along this with the hashtag. And if you belong to my Facebook group, we are doing together the, or, the one craft a month. So everybody's doing some kind of craft a month. I'm doing ornaments a month. You can do whatever craft you like and we're sharing it on the Facebook group and we're all gonna keep up and we're gonna have at least 12 somethings by the end of the year. And you get to decide what that something is. Back to the pattern. If you wanna order the hard copy, you have to go to evertote.com. If you want a PDF, you go to evertote.com and you can buy it and print it. She also, I have the fabric coming. I'm gonna use DMC floss because I have a ton of DMC floss. And this year is also about using what I have instead of keep buying all new. This takes, I think like 26 colors. Twenty three colors, maybe. I think twenty three, but there might be extra that you need. But um, I have so much DMC floss, so I think I'm going to do a DMC. Although I might buy a couple skeins of ochre to do the house. So that's what color that house is done in. Oh, there's a hair on my computer. The house is done in ochre and it's a big house so i may buy the ochre to do the house in 
Um, and then use my DMC for the rest because I have so much. And I know what, I'm pretty sure I have all these colors. We'll be picking the colors next month. I need to go up through all my floss and pull the floss for this project. And I'll see what I need to get. So that is all of my cross stitching that I have. Oh, I love this bag. By the way, if you have a cat, they love her bags. Mine is sleeping on her other bag right now. They're fantastic. Great, great quality. And if you wonder how these suckers work, so I just roll up my fabric, you put one on one side, and then you come to the back, and it's a magnet, and now it's stuck. I pulled it off by mistake, and now it holds, holds your fabric, like that. So I am working on those this month, or the rest of this month, and starting on the first, I will start on my advent calendar. Now, the only other crafting that I have done is I've worked on my stocking, which I need to finish this. So, here it is. It is Santa coming out of the chimney. I think I'm off a stitch here, but nobody will care but me, right? Yeah, nobody will care but me. So, it's Santa coming out of the chimney. And I love it. And I'm almost done. I am almost to the point where I can connect it and do the rest of the heel, the foot and heel turn. So I just need to do, I may say, be 10 or 15 more rows of this red and white brick. And then we will stitch this together. Here. We will stitch this together at the top. And we will put a heel in. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. There we go. So that's what it will look like hanging on my chimney or my mantle. I will put my name in up here and he needs some eyes. And yeah, so we're working on this. It may or may not get done before Christmas, but it will get done. It's in, it's in my Santa bag that I made for Christmas stitching. I love this retro feeling fabric. So that is everything that I have been working on the past couple weeks. Um, hoping to get some more consistent. Hi, Alex, you want to come say hi? No, you come here. Oh, oof, I have my big boy. Him's my big boy, yes. They love it when I hold them tight and squeeze them, right, baby? No, they don't. Um, so that's everything. I hope to have some more videos up on my crafting soon. I've been super busy. The sad part is the end of the year is my busy time at my day job and my part-time job. So I'm just running. Today I worked football all day and it was a sad ending to today's game. And now I'm going to drink my coffee, watch some TV, and work on my cross stitch. Uh, I hope you enjoy and you have a fantastic day. And I will talk with you later. Bye.